All right, there's the last one. On to bullet seating. So again, on the RCBS rock chucker that I am using, I have converted it over to use the lock and load bushing kit, which just makes my life so much easier. And I'm using the Hornady match grade dies, uh, like I mentioned earlier as well. Now you'll notice there's three dies in here. You've got your sizing die, your seating die, and this is actually just a Lee factory crimp die. Uh, now I do use this uh, from time to time, but I mainly only use it uh, for hunting loads, which this ammunition is going to be a hunting load. So I will put a very, very slight crimp on it. Uh, so this one right here is a really nice micrometer seating adjustment. Uh, so you can see I've got it set at 3.3, 3.2 right there. Uh, and that does change in thousands. So if I move it down to three, I've moved it down three thousandths. So I'm going to put that back to right where it was. And I do like to index it so that I can read the scale uh, as I'm standing here. I don't like it on the back side. All right. So one thing I do like to do is I do like to check and make sure that all of the cases do have powder in them. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't want to turn them anymore. Um, but they are full of powder. They all look to be about the same level as well. So, everything looks right in the world so far. I'm going to go ahead and set that down on the shell holder there. Pop open my bullets. As you can see, I do like to keep track of these also, so I've already used 30 out of this box. Leaves 20 left, which... It's perfect. So set that on there. Now, as soon as I feel it start to engage, I'm gonna back it down, turn it about a third of the way, go down a little bit more, turn it another third, and then finish seating it. And the reason why I like to do that is I do like the thought in my mind anyways, and I have seen it on a concentricity tool, is that it will help keep that bullet aligned. And so if it's cocking off to one side or the other, uh, it will do that evenly and make the bullet just slightly more concentric. It's just another step that I add. It actually works fairly well. Your mileage may vary. So I know I never checked these in the case gauge um, before we started loading, but as you can see, it does fit in that case gauge perfectly, uh, as it should, being virgin premium brass from Nosler. So it looks like we've got our first one loaded up and ready to go. One thing I will do, just to make sure the die is set up where it should be, I'm going to take my calipers. I'm just going to do an overall length check here. 2.8175, which is absolutely perfect for the data that I had on my last loadings. So 2.8175 inches is spot on right on the money where it needs to be based off my data i 
And that's 20. So now that I have those 20 loaded up, seated, everything's good to go on them. Because it is hunting ammunition and not match ammunition, I am going to be going through one more final step. Go ahead and pop that guy out and drop this guy in. The Lee Factory Crimp Die. And the only reason why I use this on my hunting ammunition is if the rifle takes a fall, anything like that, I want to make sure that I don't get any bullet setback, uh, anything along those lines. I want to make sure that that bullet is held in place and it has consistent neck tension across all of them. Uh, and that's the main reason why I like the factory crimp die for hunting ammunition. So... I'm just going to go ahead and run these guys through. And it's literally just going to go up and kiss the neck ever so slightly. You can see right there. Just put that small little ring on there. It's barely an indentation on there. But it is going to ensure that that bullet is not going to go anywhere. Which hunting is definitely more of a harsh environment than any kind of match can be and uh, I just like having that on there for peace of mind more than anything. So now that we have our ammunition loaded up, the only thing left to do is clean up, make sure you put your dies away, and maintain meticulous records. In my opinion, this helps my OCD. So 676.5 grains was the last loading cycle that I uh, did before today. That plus today brought me up to 1,578.5 grains used out of this pound jug. So that lets me know that of 7,000 grains, I've used 1,578 grains. Also, I do like to keep data on the actual load that I just did, and I'll toss this in the box. So cartridge, 308, date 10, 20. So there we go. There's the card that's going to live with this ammunition until it is all used up. And when, I, when it comes time to reload, I will use this plus my range notes to know exactly how this ammunition performed and if I want to tweak it. Uh, but anyways, this is record for me uh, of this ammunition so I don't lose track of one load versus another. Uh, this is great to keep in your notebook. Uh, keep somewhere to be able to come back to. That way you know how this ammunition worked in your rifle, how it shot, and what the exact recipe was. Uh, this can be an invaluable tool, uh, and I, I do use it religiously. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this presentation. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, I do like to respond to them every chance I get. Uh, and if you have any concerns or critiques, please let me know as well.